sometimes some students need more help and some and more resources in order to like succeed. It doesn't mean they're not trying hard enough. It just means they need more help. So for me, I, I started off by naming my lab Culture Health and Development Lab. I, I, I love the idea of culture, of health, of development, that you know interconnection, um, and it's, it's here. It's in my logo, right? And my logo is also very symbolic because you see right here that there is the home context and then there is the institution and it looks like they could be in conflict, but then there's also ways of bringing them together and harmonizing. Research for our lab specifically means that we actually use a triangulation of methodologies to specifically interview, survey, as well as a health component, um, which involves the collection of saliva, um, in order to look at what's going on both physically and mentally um, for the health of underserved uh, minority students. Um, which really make up the majority of CSUN's population. The work that we do in our research is really awesome because I feel like I'm basically like studying myself. <laughs> I am a underrepresented student. I am Latina and I am also come from a first generation background of college students. So that basically means neither of my parents went to college. So I'd be the first one kind of filling in those ranks. So my lab is currently working on one large project. It is a longitudinal study that aims to understand how cultural mismatch changes over time and how that mismatch um, plays a role in students' health and academic development over time. And so we do this by gathering various forms of data. We gather survey data, we gather interview data, and we also gather more objective data, um, such as um, saliva. Right, because saliva, it has so much information in it. It could tell us so much about students' health. So my favorite thing about the Culture Health and Development Lab, I guess, would be um, being able to collect saliva and look at cortisol levels, which I never thought would be possible in a psych lab, um, because it's really cool to be able to collect that um, biological markers of health and being able to study that and see that, as well as um, before COVID, we would also collect um, brain, like brain waves um, using a special device too. So that was really cool too. My favorite thing about being a member of the Culture Health and Development Lab is the welcoming and supportive culture um, found in our specific lab. Um, no matter who's presenting, what we're doing, um, we all show up for one another. And I think that that is really important in all aspects of life. So to have it in a research setting at um, my school has really um, helped me find a second home in my lab. But being incorporated into like this group of people in our lab, they were just very welcoming, helped me out with everything, um, helped teach me like the ways of how research is conducted. And I learned a lot from it. And now I feel like I'm coming out of the research lab just knowing so much more about research, um, thanks also to them. This lab is the coolest lab on campus. <laughs> it is the most exciting lab because I'm extremely excited about science. I do, I love it. Science is is my life. Um, I, I, and I, and I have that excitement that I like bringing to the students. And I believe that when you join this lab, your, your life is going to change. It really will. My students are very successful. They're moving on to, you know, PhD programs, other doctoral programs, uh, getting into master's programs, and they leave feeling like they've accomplished a lot. And I feel myself as a mentor when I see them and what experts they've become and how confident they are that I've done something as well. I've accomplished something and because I see how, how wonderful they're doing. And that's always my goal to as a mentor to help students get to the next step in their careers and to help them being successful and if you come to this lab and you join our lab i will do my absolute best to help you on the path that you want to be in your life <laughs>